हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू यू एक्सप्लेशन सो इन लास्ट वीडियो आई कवर द टॉपिक टेन पॉइंट फाइव एंड फ्राम टेन पॉइंट फाइव आई कवर न्यू गवर्नमेंट एंड सोसाइटी एंड प्रोफेशनल एथिक्स फ्राम दिस नेपाल इंजीनियरिंग काउंसिल एग्जाम सिलेबस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर रेगुलेटरी इन गवर्नमेंट एंड कंटेम्प्रेरी इशू प्रॉब्लम्स इन इंजीनियरिंग सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच माई वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच द प्रीवियस वीडियो फॉर दिस टू टॉपिक्स एम सी क्वेश्चन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिटेल लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन विच इज Which of the which of the following is an example of regulatory body governing engineering practice? Practice, yeah. So the options are regulatory body governing engineering practice. So the options are International Monetary Fund. No, this is not. United Nations Development Program. No, National Society of Professional Engineers. Yes, WHO. No. So already engineering board is there. So this is a very easy option. So one C is the correct answer. Question number two is what is the purpose of engineering licensure to restrict the number of engineer? No, to ensure that only engineer with highest grade are allowed to practice. No, to protect the public by establishing minimum competence competency standard for engineering. Yeah, so C is the correct answer. Let's go to question number three. So, what is the significance of building codes in engineering practice? Why we build these codes? Okay, so that um, what is significance of building codes in engineering practice? Okay, so we have to establish a standard in this. Okay, so that's why we build the codes in engineering practice. So they ensure that engineering projects are completed within budget. No, they establish the aesthetic guideline for architectural design only. No, they set a minimum safety standards. Yeah, as as I told you, this deals with the standard. So C is the correct answer. Let's go to question number four. How does compliance with environment regulation entail for engineering project? Okay, so ignoring the potential environment impact of the project, no, we cannot ignore this environment impact. So A is not the option. Second option is minimizing or mitigating the project adverse effect of environment. Yes, of course, B is the correct answer. Question number five. What is the purpose of Occupational Safety and Health Administration (OSHA) regulation? So very easy. The answer will be deals with the safety of the employee. So to prioritize the economic interest, no. To promote unsafe working, no. To ensure safe and healthy working environment of employees. So C is the correct answer. Let's go to question number six. What is the role of Environment Potential uh, Protection Agency (EPA)? Okay, what is the so again? What is the role of environment? Okay, see if protection agency was there, then other options would be there. But environmental is there, so it deals with the protection of environment. So to promote the exploitation of natural resources, no. To regulate the management and protection of environment, including air and water quality, yes. It helps to protect the environment. So B is the correct answer. Let's go to question number seven. What is the purpose of conducting environmental impact assessment? That is EIA. Okay, so it is used to deal with how, like, if we are doing any project or any work, how it is going to affect the environment. Okay, so it is used to see that whether it is affecting the environment or not. If it is affecting, then how can we minimize that? So to ignore the potential environment impact of project, no. To expedite the approval process of engineering project, no. To evaluate and mitigate the potential environment effect. So as I told you, C is the correct answer. Okay, let's go to question number eight. Which of the following is an example of regulatory document in engineering? Okay, so engineering code of ethics, engineering research paper, engineering textbook, engineering conference presentation. So if you have, if you are from civil engineering, so you can know this code of ethics, engineering code of ethics is a. Uh, sorry, not civil engineering. Uh, any engineering we have gone through this code of ethics. So A is the correct answer. Let's go to question number. Nine, okay. So this is a very easy question. What is the purpose of intellectual property right in engineering? Okay, so you know what is inte intellectual property right? So it means that you have to protect the if you have uh, done anything or any innovation you have done. So you have to protect that. You have to take the ownership for that. So to promote the unauthorized use and application of engineering, no, we cannot replicate. Okay, to prevent engineering from sharing the research, no, to protect the. ownership and commercial interest of engineering innovations yes c is the correct answer 
fine so let's go to the next topic which is uh, campaign uh, contemporary issues problem engineering so what um, so the questions are what is one of the key challenges in sustainable engineering okay so sustainable what is sustainable engineering sustainable engineering means that you do any project you do any uh, like uh, innovations and all without hampering the environment okay so maximizing profit for engineering firm no disregarding environmental concern no balancing economic growth with yes we have to use the environment in such a way that our future generation they are not going to suffer okay so balancing economic growth with environmental uh, stewardship question number 2 which of the following is a major ethical concern in artificial intelligence intelligence development ensuring that ai system prioritize human safety and will be allowing ai system to make decision without human intervention no ignoring the potential societal impact of ai technology developing ai system without considering no a is the correct answer let's go to question number 3 what is the impact of climate change on engineering practice what is the impact of climate change on engineering practice climate change has no significant impact on engineering project no it requires engineers to adapt infrastructure design to changing climate pattern yeah this is a positive climate change increase the profitability of environment engineering firm no it allows engineers to disregard no so b is the correct answer let's go, go to question number 4 which of the following is a key consideration in addressing the digital divide okay so what is digital divide digital divide means that we are not um, some of the you know uh, some people who live in village or some um, marginalized communities are there they are not able to use this digital resources so that is called digital device increasing the cost of internet access to maximize profit ignoring the unequal distribution of technology ignoring no ensuring equitable access to digital technology and internet connectivity no it deals with some uh, like some geographical group or some marginalized group okay so limiting access to digital resources for marginalized community this is called digital device sorry digital divide question number let's go to question number 5 Okay, so question number five is what are the potential ethic implication of genetic engineering? So already the, you can see the um, uh, answer here. So enhancing human trait without considering ethical implication, no. Ignoring the potential risk and un we cannot ignore. Promoting equitable access to genetic engineering technology, balancing the benefit of genetic engineering with potential risks. Yeah, we we have to balance that. what is one of the main concern related to increasing use of automation and robotics in workforce maximize productivity and efficiency without considering human well-being what is the one of the main concern concern means what is one of the negative impact we can say minimizing job displacement ignoring the potential risks and safety associated with automation promoting equitable access to automation and robotic technology so so the main concern if you are using this automation and robotic is that we have to take care of human well being so a is the correct answer so all the options seem same only like we ca we can get confused but the first concern is we have to consider human well being let's go to question number 7 what is the significance of engineering ethics in addressing social inequality okay social inequality so it means that some social um, uh, like equity we have to see for this so engineering ethics has no role it is used that engineering prioritize profit over social welfare no it promotes the consideration of social implication and equality in engineering design and decision yeah c is the correct answer let's go to question number 8 what is one of the challenge in implementing sustainable transportation solution disregarding the need for efficient and affordable transportation ignoring the environmental impact of transportation system balancing the demand of personal vehicle use with sustainability alternative c is the correct answer let's go to question number 9 okay what is the role of engineering in addressing the water scarcity crisis okay so already you can see the option ignoring the need we cannot ignore maximizing the water consumption without no this negative option can be the answer developing innovative solution for water conservation and efficient use yes c is the correct answer let's to see the last question what are some of the ethical consideration in the use of big data and engineering 
ओके इग्नोरिंग डाटा प्राइवेसी नो प्रायोरिटाइजिंग डाटा कलेक्शन विदाउट कंसेंट नो इंज्योरिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड एथिकल डाटा मैनेजमेंट एंड यूजिंग या वाइल यूजिंग बिग डाटा यू हैव टू सी दैट विदर द डाटा कलेक्शन इज डाटा मैनेजमेंट इज एथिकल और नॉट ओके सो सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इन अपकमिंग वीडियो आई ट्राई टू कवर ऑल द टॉपिक दैट इज occupational health and safety and rules and responsibility of nepal engineering association that is nea so if you like my video do like and comment below how should i improve my video or not and uh, next i'll be coming with some other videos thank you and stay safe